Hello all, welcome to Smart Classes. In today's class, we will study the rest of the issues regarding 1969 Telangana Movement. In the last class, we have seen that GO36 was passed, which has basically told that all the non monkeys should be sent back to their own places. But Annavatala Ravindranath has not called off his sung hunger strike even after listening that. He said that he would be ending the strike only after the GO36 was successfully implemented. But on Jan 22nd, 1969, Anna Bhutal Ravindranath has been made to end the hunger strike by emotionally blackmailing using his father. Basically, Andhra people have used his father to make Anna Bhutla Ravindranath stop the hunger strike. So, his strike ended on Dan 22nd, 1969. Basically, his strike took place from Jan 8th, 1969 to Jan 22nd, 1969. That is 14 days. One day after he has called off his hunger strike, Potu Krishnamurti has also stopped his hunger strike. He has been on strike for 13 days. And then, on Jan 28, 1969, a committee was appointed which was known as Lalit Kumar Committee who was the chairman to study the physical surplus that is the surplus budget of Telangana must uh, to study the surplus budget of Telangana this committee was organized and they have told that 30 crores of surplus is present in the Telangana region and there were 4500 non-local employees present in the region. This has been mentioned in their report on jan 25 1969 yeah as i already told you according to jan 20, uh, according to go 36 all the non mulkis must be sent back but there are five telangana women who married five andhra men so basically these people were government employees uh, uh, so basically these five women have filed a, co a case in the high court saying that if their men are sent to Andhra, they also must go to Andhra. So, we cannot go to Andhra seeing that these five women have filed a case in the high court. The high court gave the judgment that GO36 is invalid as it violates Article 15 which is right to equality and Article 16 right to equal public opportunity so this geo government order 36 basically violates both the articles so uh, government order 36 is invalid so once this judgment has come there was more angry in the telangana students on jan 24 1969 rally by students has been taking place in which shankar a student has died on Jan 25th, 1969. Basically, these two incidents have intensified the 1969 Telangana movement more. On February 3rd, 1969, Chinna Puredi, uh, uh, who is the Chief Justice of the High Court, has constituted a bench and gave the judgments that Article uh, GO36 violates Article 14 and 16 and GO36 should not be implemented. And on Feb 28, 1969, TPS was set up. Initially, it was known as Telangana People Convention, which is TPC. TPS is nothing but Telangana Praja Samiti. And the chairman of TPS was Anantula Madan Mohan. On 3rd March 1969, the people of TPS have organized their first Telangana Band by students of Telangana and on March 8th, 9th, 1969, they have constituted a conference which is known as Telangana Praja Samiti Conference and more than 5,000 people have attended the conference. The opening speech of this conference was given by Ravada Satyanarayana who is the Vice Chancellor of Usmania University and T.S. Sadarakshmi has also played an important role uh, in the conference as she was the president of the conference even after anantala uh, even after uh, anantala madan mohan was arrested in in the in the future strikes in the movement 
uh, Sada Lakshmi has played an important role in the uh, 1969 Telangana movement. And in this conference, map of Telangana was also inaugurated by Takkelapalli Purushottam Rao. And they, uh, they have passed a resolution which by uh, saying, we will boycott schools and colleges till the, till the Telangana is separated. That is, till the Telangana state is achieved. And then in March 1969, Kailashnath Committee has been constituted. According to this committee, Mulki rules should not be implemented. That is, the report submitted by this committee says that Mulki rules should not be implemented. This committee was basically constituted to see the validity of the Mulki rules. They have told that Mulki rules are not valid and they should not be implemented. And then Konda Lakshman Babuji, who was the first MLA or minister to resign for the sake of Telang separate Telangana. So he's the first MLA who has re resigned for his post in the for the separate Telangana in the 1969 Telangana movement. And he has established a party which is known as Sampurna Telangana Congress. And then there's one more leader who is Kura Party Sitaramaya, who is the communist leader from Andhra Pradesh region. And he went on nine days hunger strike, that is from 4th to 12th March 1969. He was basically from Andhra, but he strived for the welfare of the Telangana people and he went on hunger strike for the separate Telangana. And there's one more Andhra leader who is N.G. Rangara who also fought for separate Telangana. And there was uh, one employee who, who was working as a surveyor surveyor in the survey uh, in the office of survey. His name was Ranga Charilu. He was burnt alive. Uh, he was burnt alive due to some internal reasons or personal reasons in that office but Andhra newspapers have basically spread the fake news saying that because of the Telangana separate Telangana agitation these people went and burned the Andhra person Ranga Charyulu. So this fake news has increased the uh, in increased the fight between Telangana and Andhra people and finally on April 5th 1969 in the Burugu Mahadeva Hall, a conference has been constituted by the Communist Party leaders for separate Telangana. And these community, Communist Party leaders doesn't know that there will be students attending the meeting. So there were some students sitting in the uh, sitting in the last benches of the meeting, which Communist Party leaders doesn't know. So Communist Party leaders basically said that in the meeting, the separate Telangana can only be achieved by the hard work of communist party leaders and not by the students by which students uh, got enraged and a fight broke out between communist leaders and the students and finally police interfered and four died and 37 injured in this fight and finally police arrested the student leaders who were Nantula Madan Mohan, Malika Jindra who were also leaders of TPS. And on April 11th, 1969, this we will discuss in the later stages, Indra Gandhi promised for the welfare of the Telangana people and they have released 8-point formula or 8-point program. By 7th April, 344 agitators were arrested. They kept on arresting from this 5th April 1969 to 7th April 1969. According to them, 344 were arrested. This is only by the official announcement. And all these things were done to suppress the Telangana agitation. And Telangana people have also given the slogan, Quit Telangana. This was given by student leader Sridhar Reddy, who gave the slogan. And after this, seven MPs submitted letter to Internal Affairs Minister. So, what did these seven MLAs demand? Demanded. They have demanded for a tribunal under chairmanship of Supreme Court judge to inquire about regional discrimination and inequalities in the Andhra Pradesh. This digital discrimination against Telangana people and inequalities against Telangana people in the state of Andhra Pradesh. And even at the NGOs and teachers association have also formed a joint action committee 
and they have agitated for separate Telangana. They have declared March 17th as Telangana Employees Day. They have decided to, to go on strike from first week of April and relay hunger strike on 24th and 25th March. Here are the few demands. Here are the few demands of the Telangana employees, that is the Teachers Association and the TNTOs. So the first one is removal of non non mulkis from the government departments, and the HODs and secretariat must be in the ratio of fifty to fifty. That is fifty percent from Telangana and fifty percent from Andhra region, and then preparation of seniority list of all the employees without any discriminations. Mulki regulations should be made applicable to Andhra employees also who are with salaries above 700 rupees and the age limit is raised to should be raised to 30 years and the HRA must be provided to the Telangana employees also and then a commission must be constituted under Supreme Court judge in order to look into the inequalities, inequalities and the injustice done to the Telangana employees or the Telangana people. And finally, TPS announces Satyagraha on 9th April and the then president was S.B. Giri. As all the leaders of uh, commun uh, Communist Party were arrested by 7th April, Anandla Madan Mohana, Madan Mohan and Malikajna, everybody was arrested. S.B. Giri has become the president of the TPS and he has announced Satyagraha on April 9th, 1969. And finally, the Telangana issue or the injustice done to the Telangana people has come into the notice of the parliament that is, has been discussed on the national level when it was discussed. As you know, employees have asked for a commission under Supreme Court judge. Centre was thinking of providing a commission. And then Kasi Brahman and Reddy has, oppo has, has opposed it saying that it would create the interference in the state affairs. If centre forms a, forms a parliamentary committee, then it would be an interference in the state affairs. And then opposing this against Kasi Brahman and Reddy, Madhu Limai, who is a socialist party leader, has propo proposed a resolution against Kasi Brahman and Reddy in Lok Sabha saying that he cannot oppose the parliamentary committee. And the resolution which was, uh, which was proposed has been defeated and it has, has, not, has not been passed. And for the first time, the Langana issue was discussed in the national, national level and more and more people started knowing about the injustice done to the Telangana people. And finally, as, as we have discussed on April 11th 1969 Indira Gandhi has promised for the welfare of the people and she has released the eight point program according to the eight, po eight point program this is basically for development of people using the surplus budget and employment opportunities and all these points basically tell us the same thing these points basically assures that the the surplus would be used only for the development of Telangana and employment in the Telangana region will be given to the Telangana youth or the Telangana students. First is committee to estimate the surplus and uh, and, spent, uh, and the finances spent on the development of Telangana. Discussions between the representatives of union finance, union finance and home ministries planning commission and the state government high power telangana development committee which consists of cm of ap member of uh, planning commission ministers of ab cabinet and the chairman of trc telangana regional council plan implementation committee further delegation of powers appropriation of uh, constitutional safeguards belonging uh, to the Telangana and CM assured that the surplus will be used for the development of Telangana and justice will be done to the Telangana people and 8 is the constitution of committee under Supreme Court judge. So these are the 8 
principles which assured the development of Telangana people. And finally, the major incidents which hurt the Telangana people and intensified the Telangana movement is there was a meeting uh, which is known as Bahirang Sabha. In, there, was a, there was a meeting of the Congress party. So, Kasu Brahmanandreddy has attended the meeting on behalf of the Congress party as he was the chief minister of the state. In his speech, he has insulted the Telangana people openly. In front of so many Telangana people, he has insulted they, uh, he has insulted them, saying that Telangana people are uncivilized and they don't know how to behave and how to uh, behave and they're not educated. So, because of this, people reverted back by stopping his car, which resulted in, in, in this shootout by the policemen, because of which four people have died. This intensive, intensive the Telangana movement increased because of the incident. And in April 1969, Bar Committee, Committee was constituted. This committee was also constitu constituted to estimate the surplus budget and the number of non-local employees. So, in the total of 1969 Telangana movement, there are three different committees. First one is Jan 1969, Lalit Kumar. Uh, it, it has the same thing to do with the surplus and the non-local employees. And in case of Lalit Kumar, uh, then the surplus budget was 30 crores. I think, yeah, surplus budget was 30 crores. And the non-local employees is the same even in January 1969. And in March, Kailashnat Committee, in order to inspect the validity of the Mulki rules. These are the three important committees in 1969 Telangana movement. So, almost all the people who have participated in the Telangana strike have been arrested, which, have, which shows the partiality for the Andhra people. So, what happened next and how did the 1969 Telangana movement end? We'll be discussing in the next class. Thank you.